Jesus, 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 glory to Jesus Christ, hallelujah. I'm not perfect. I'm just an old, dumb country here, baby. But you know what? I know God. Yeah. 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 Amen. We need to give God the praise. Yeah. And I yes, don't forget when she calls me tonight, how many people that was out here. Yeah. And she sends her love to each and every one of you all. And this is what she said, all is well. Tell them to hold their head high because I am. God is the source and the author of law and government. And that any purported law that is not harmonious with his word can't be law Amen. and is not law. Amen. As our founders pointed out in the Declaration of Independence, there is an almighty God. Our rights, indeed all law, come from him. And the purpose of civil government is to protect our rights, our God-given rights, not to attack them. Yeah. Kim Davis is willing to sit in jail to teach this lesson. There is no law that requires her to grant a marriage license to people of the same sex. Amen. Let me ask, let me ask, as she has asked, where is the law? What legislature voted for it? What executive signed it? What are its terms? What does it say? Where is it written? I was inspired all the way from Ohio. And I said, we must pack our bags and we must go stand with Kim Davis. We must go fight this tyranny. Rarely do we get to see this kind of courage. A Christian willing to lay their life down for the gospel. And look at this woman showing us how to live out the word of God. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Will you stand with Kim?